Hey guys, and welcome back to Audit Watch, the best place to find your favorite police interactions on the internet. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoy and subscribe if you are new around here. But anyways, let's get straight into today's episode. Yo, to me. Don't put your hands on me, bro. It's my car. Don't put your hands on me. This video is brought to us by NY State Audit. A big shout out to them. Make sure you subscribe to their channel and check out their videos. The clip begins with an officer putting his hands on a man that is recording in a parking lot. The officer and the man recording share some words with each other and raise their voices at each other. The man recorded through the cop car window, which then angered the cop into putting his hands on the man and causing a confrontation. The cop doesn't take this well. Watch the full clip to see what the cop does at the end. I'm just investigating right now. I'm doing a story. You on call by any chance? You got a call here or is this what you usually do? You usually park and just waste taxpayers t money and time? Yo, on me. Don't put your hands on me, bro. It's my car. Don't put your hands on me. You keep putting your hands on me, I'm gonna push you away. Just like I'm doing. I have a right to go by the car. It's not yours. It's the taxpayer car. You're damn right. Call your sergeant. Call your sergeant. They're busy. You just use excessive force. You're not gonna tell me. What? What you gonna tell me? You just came on to me. You just came up to me. Stop putting your hands on me. Stop putting your hands on me. You don't like how I'm pushing your hands off of me, right? You don't like how I'm pushing your hands off me, right? Don't touch me again. Touch me. I'm touching you. Hold on. Oh, this guy's a clown. Touch him again. Touch him again. Back up, back up. Touch him again. Call your sergeant, man. Nice Next month what? Nice mouth. Nice mouth? What, you don't like freedom of speech? So I'm going to go buy our vehicle. That's right. If you pitch, is it your vehicle? Is it your vehicle? You, you own this? You own You put your hands on me, bro. Okay. Officer badge number 119. Yeah. I have a right to go buy our vehicle. You have no right to put your hands on me. Look at you worried about space, right? Back up. Get out of my face. You just came up to me. Back up. Back up. How are you going to say? Badge 19. Go ahead. What's up? Let me see it. Let me see it. Live, yo. Live. Excuse me. What you farted? What you farted? Excuse you. You don't fuck, Sergeant. I'm taking your job and this officer's job and I'm not going to harass my friend or put his hands on. We paying you to sit in a parking lot? Yeah, have a good day. Clearly, this cop got his feelings hurt. He must have been hiding something in his vehicle to get this mad about someone recording the window. The man recording through the cop's window is perfectly legal. The cop reacting and putting his hands on the man is completely wrong and unprofessional. This cop needs some good training on how to control his emotions and even the law if he thinks recording the window is illegal. And of course, the cop drives away from the situation after he started it all. The cop also thinks he owns the vehicle. Does he not know about taxpayers' money either? I'm leaving, sir. No, I want the, I, I'm gonna get a formal trespass before I leave here. There is no such thing as formal trespass. Oh, yes, there is. From a public place? Yes, there is, there absolutely is. Okay, okay. This video is brought to us by First Amendment Protection Agency. Be sure to subscribe to their channel and show them some support by watching their videos. The clip begins with the man recording, getting the police called on him because he was recording in a post office. The cops arrive and confront him for recording in the post office. The cops tell him to stop over to the side and the man wants to speak to their supervisor. The cop then decides that he is going to try and trespass the man recording and it escalates even more at the end. Watch until the end to see what happens. I just want to know how much for one stamp. I'm sorry? I, why? Because I don't want you videoing me. Well, you're on video all day. 
Yeah, but not by you. Right, I just came in. Yeah, but I don't, I don't, I prefer you not to video me. Well, I'm most definitely allowed to do so. I oh. said it the whole time. So you're calling the police? I said it the whole time. <laughs> I'm sorry? I'm good right here, man. I'm good to have a talk right here. We're good. Okay. You got some ID to identify yourself since you claim you have a right. What's your name and badge number? Sergeant Brinson, 22832, sir. Sweet. Awesome. Thank you. Okay. I'm going to invoke my Fifth Are Amendment you here now. For service? I'm going to invoke my Fifth Amendment now. Are you here for any services? Okay. You can film all you want to, but you can't interfere with their work. So you have to step away from the counter. Okay? You understand that? You step away from the counter. You can't interfere with their work. Is the supervisor around that I was supposed to talk to? Yes. Still waiting. I have like two minutes of questions and then I would have been out of here. So, perfect. Sounds He's supposed good. to inspect. He has the right to ask you to leave. Okay? He's asking you now to leave because you're disrupting services. No, I'm not. Yes. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. I, I tried to no. reason to leave. You didn't want to listen. Now you need to leave. Okay. So, what we need for you to do now, step outside and we'll finish all this paperwork and we'll be done. Okay. Okay. So, we'd no, like I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait for your supervisor. I'm going to wait. I right am here. the supervisor. So, who did you call? Huh? So who'd you call? Postal inspector. No, the supervisor. Your supervisor. I'm the supervisor. Well, then call your chief and get and get him to. on the phone. Yes, so. you do. No, okay. Call He's somebody you above leave. you. I want somebody We're above you. We're now leaving, you. sir. No, I want the. I, I'm going to get a formal trespass before I leave here. There is no such thing as formal trespass. No, yes, there is. From a public place. Yes, there is. There absolutely is. Okay. Okay. You want to argue about it? We don't. Okay. You can't film up here. If you want to move over here, you can film all you want to. That's can you give asking. me a little bit of personal space, my man? You're like right up in my grub here. No, you are. Okay. If you'd like to step over okay. here, we can talk about it. Yeah, thanks. Okay. Okay. So now you I took another say, step towards me. But I just recorded I'm your feet. You took... to step over here so okay, we can well. finish talking about this. Okay. Well, now I'm going to sit here. I don't feel very safe around you. I don't care if your body can't feel safe around me. Then you can leave. It's that simple. <laughs> you think it is that simple? Yeah, it is. Oh, perfect. It is that simple. Sounds good. Okay. Sounds good. So you refusing to leave? I'm waiting for your supervisor. Whoever oh. you whoever you call. Okay. Postal inspector is here. He's He's not your you supervisor. He is not your supervisor. Okay. He's asking you to leave. Sorry. Do you guys do you guys have a uh, postal agreement with this post office? So it's what you're doing what you're doing is bringing firearms into postal on the federal property. Uh -huh. Yes, it's I have jurisdiction. jurisdiction. Yes. Sounds if good. Two people go to fight and they call 911. They're going to show up. Sounds good. Well, okay. I'm not fighting anyone, am I? You need to leave. No, I'm not coming. I'm not breaking. Any, I'm. I'm not committing any crimes, my man. Oh no, will you gladly go get a form for me? And I will formally trespass you. From where? From and a that point from time, public you from public under, property. You will be yes, you can't be trespassed in the post office. You can't be trespassed. It is a federal law. You can't be trespassed. We do that all the time. For what? For various various reasons. Like what? Like, like what breaking right laws, right? Am I breaking a law? Yes, sir, you are. You're which which law? No, I, I'm in yes. the public area here, my man. No. I'm in the public area here, my man. Right. Postal inspector, once again, has asked you to leave. You're disrupting services, and you're trying to fill private information as far as we can no, tell. No, I'm not. No, no, you okay. can't. But so you what, what made you tell that? Okay. You what? are disrupting Hold on. services, Hold on. correct? Just All right, no, I'm... Will you leave? This is your trespass notice. Okay, so now let me you, ask you a question. You now have time to leave. Okay, sounds good. So if now not, let me you ask you a question. Placed under risk. Now let me ask you a question. If I do not leave, are you going to place me under arrest? Yes. Under, okay. So under threat of arrest, I'm going to go. Can I? Are you going to? Are you going to get me a business card as well? I no, need a sir. business card. I gave no? you my name and badge number. All right. Cool. Uh, can but I get you your name and badge number? Payroll two four seven four four. I'm sorry. Corporal Mallard, payroll two four seven four four. Okay. Did you, cool. Did you say that? Please understand, you cannot come back to this post office. So you guys are going to fill out that paper, correct? We did, but you, you refuse to give us your name. Yeah, sounds good. All right, so please so write, it, then write it down as good citizen. Right, I identify as good citizen. Why are you raising your voice? Why don't you de escalate you a little bit? Why, right why don't you de escalate a little bit? Once again, leave. I'm trying to talk to you. And I'm telling you, you've been trespassed. I need you to leave right now. So uh, I'm going to get that paper filled out, correct or incorrect? I need you to step outside. Once you give us our ID, we can finish filling out paperwork out. I don't have my ID. Okay, step outside. Step outside. Step outside. Step outside. Why are you trying to force This is your last chance. All right, you're under arrest. Dude, I are. You're now I, under arrest. I can't believe this cop just arrested this man for simply recording in a post office. This cop certainly needs some more training because he acted completely wrong in this situation.
The cop even refused to give his business card, and as the man was leaving and simply asking him to not raise his voice, the cop thought it would be a great idea to snap and arrest him. Clearly, he didn't want to have a conversation, and when you can't get them to leave, obviously in his mind, it's time to arrest them. The man was literally about to leave. These cops have no patience. Put the camera down? Yeah. Why? Because whoa, whoa. what are you doing? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why are you, touching my, why are you touching my camera, man? Put the camera down. That's against the law. What are you it's doing? Against you... The law of the video. This clip is brought to us by Long Island Audit. A big shout out to Sean. Make sure you subscribe to his channel down in the link in the description. The video starts off with Sean recording at the Vineland City Hall. A security guard present at the hall grabs Sean's camera and tells him that he is not allowed to record in the hall. After speaking to the guards, the police turn up and have a slightly different idea of what the guards said to Sean. Watch the full clip to see what the police say to Sean after the guards said he wasn't allowed to record in the hall. We're at the city hall here in Vineland, New Jersey. What? Put the camera down. Put the camera down? Yeah. Why? Because oh, whoa. what are you doing? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why are, you touching my... me. Why are you touching my camera, man? Put the camera down. That's against the law. What are you it's doing? You, the law, the video tape you just you just broke the law. You just grabbed my camera, man. What are you doing? You gotta go out. Well, what's going on? What are you, you doing? I want to speak to your supervisor. Who you are you? To my supervisor? Yeah, I want to speak to your you? supervisor. Who are you? I didn't come up to you what grabbing your personal stuff. What are you doing? What's wrong with you? What can I speak to a supervisor? He's trying to grab my camera. Okay, well, can you put it down? Are you gonna try and grab it too? I have nothing to do with you. I'm just making sure nothing's going on. So why why are you videotaping? I have to see the city clerk. Okay, so that doesn't mean I have any bias to be videotaped. So you're, in, you're in public. That means you don't have an expectation of privacy. This gentleman didn't have any problem. He knew I was recording. Just, where are you heading? The city clerk. Okay, just have Just wait one second. What's wrong with you? What, what makes you think that you can grab my camera and do whatever you want? What makes you think you can do things? What makes you think that you can... What, what, what makes you think that you can just grab my stuff? Well, how would you like it if I grabbed your name badge or, or your hat off your head? What, would you like that? No, right? That would be breaking the law, correct? You, you don't think it's breaking the law your for security. a person, a personal How do you think I'm breaking, how do you think I'm breaking, I know how you broke the law, how am I breaking the law? How are you law? breaking the law? You were breaking the law by videotaping them. Uh, I'm breaking the law. you don't know. I'm breaking the law by videotaping yes, you. you. want me to call the attorney about that? Yeah, I would, I would invite you to, I would invite you to. I'm gonna wait for the police to get here. I want to press charges. That's fine. Hey, how you doing today, sir? Hi, sir. Can I help you? Uh, no, can I just get your name and badge number? Hendershot, four two two five. Hendershot. Hendershot. I. Yeah, that would be me. Yes, Hendershot. Who are oh, you? Okay. Oh, I'm not gonna release that information right now. Well, if I'm providing my information, it's only fair that I know who I'm speaking to. So at least I can make sure that you're aware of the the proper legal ramifications or how the laws work, just like I was informing well, them of such. No, no, I know how the laws work and I don't have to identify myself to a police officer unless you have reasonable articulable suspicion that I've committed, I'm committing, or I'm going to commit a crime. Well, now, so as far as security is concerned, yes, he has the free right to record you guys. However, depending on how the city just chooses to handle the situation, if his business is completely finished within the city and then you guys are requesting that he leave, you guys can always sign trespassing complaints against him, at which point then your name would be needed so that they can therefore follow through with signing those complaints with the Violent Municipal Court. Which would mean that I'd be committing a crime. A disorderly person's offense, yes. Correct. So I would like to report a crime to you as a law enforcement officer, just so I know. What's your name? Alice Rodriguez. And badge number? 7125. Thank you. I appreciate it, Rodriguez. No so I would like to report a, a crime. Uh, one of the security officers here, as soon as I walked in the door, um, passed the mag, did everything that I was supposed to do, comes up to me, tells me it's against the law to record in a government building, which you just explained that it's not. Mm -hmm. And then he goes and grabs, t attempts to take my phone from me, physically grabbing my phone. I had to rip it out of his hands. That is a crime, either a harassment or I don't want to be touched. I don't want my things being touched. Did you explain to him that you did not want to be touched? It, it, it should be it place. should it should be given it should it should be common knowledge like you don't have to tell me that you don't want to be touched because if I touched you right now I'm sure it wouldn't end well for me yeah but so most people are aware of the fact when it comes to law enforcement however so they shouldn't be aware what would a, a, a free citizen law-abiding citizen some people don't have 
everybody's interpretation of personal space is different. Still I'm still vo videotaping. Yeah, I'm asking what, you to apologize as a man. I'm asking you to apologize as a man for grabbing my camera and for treating me the way you did. And then we could leave it at that. We could shake hands and move on. Or you know, I'll file complaints and I'll file a report against you. I'm sick of people coming up to me and thinking that they have the right to touch me. They don't. Have, you, you don't have a right to touch feel, me. Hold on. Did you feel I had I, I had touched you? You you touched my camera for sure. Yeah. You tried to grab it from me. No, I didn't try to grab. I'm gonna say this. Okay. I great. Like, hold on. I went like this. And you came forward. Yeah, no. I went backwards. Yeah, hold on. Okay, so I said, just put the camera down. All right. Do you remember that? So I'm going to, okay, no hold problem. On, hold on, hold no, on. No, 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 no. Come now on, listen, man. Because I, you know I wasn't, I, you guys, you guys went way out of control here. I, Sir, excuse me? I apologize. Sir. Thank you. Thanks, Gary. Appreciate it. All right? Thank you for being a man and apologizing to me. I really appreciate it. Let's move on. That's it. Thank you, officer, for your time. Sergeant. All good, sir? All good, sir. It's handled. Okay. It's handled. I'm not too sure what this guard was thinking when he decided to put his hands on Sean's camera. He didn't even think twice about it. He went straight for the camera and resorted to touching him. At least when the cops arrive, they let the guards know that he can record, but some of the silly comments weren't necessary at all. And at the end, also, it's great to see that the security guard apologized and made up with Sean, although he did make some stupid excuses up and lied about what happened. Everything was handled in the end. Suspicious okay. that you're looking in the vehicles of, of officers. Okay. So yeah, you're detained. To, I would like to crazy. I'm detained. This video is brought to us by Bay Area Transparency. A big shout out to Bay Area Transparency for the video, and make sure you subscribe to their channel. The clip begins with Jay taking pictures of detectives' cars in a public parking lot. The cops that are on the scene unlawfully detain Jay because of the pictures that he was taking. When Jay is speaking to them, he asks them all to identify themselves, but they don't do it properly and refuse to identify themselves. Jay ends up schooling them. Watch the full clip to see what Jay says to them. What was that? Hanging out? What are you doing? Yeah. Is there an issue? Well, we were called said you were looking in the uh, detective's cars. Okay. The reason why you would be doing that? Yeah. Might you explain that to me? Well, I was just taking pictures. What up? Now I'm recording. What? What's the issue? Well, there's no good reason to be up here looking in their cars. I'm just taking pictures. Okay, but you're looking in their vehicles. Taking pictures. Do you have ID with you? Taking pictures. Yeah, I do. Can I see it? Do I have to show it? Well, I don't it, know how all that works, but well, you're, you are. It is kind of suspicious okay. that you're looking in the vehicles of of officers. Okay. So yeah, you're detained. To, I would like crazy. To, I'm detained. Yes, because for, you're, that's suspicious I'm, activity. How do I know you're not burglarizing vehicles or trying to steal weapons out of a police vehicle? I don't understand why I would be be detained though. I'm just taking pictures. I'm just walking around taking pictures. Okay. But what's the I just explained to you why you are being detained. Okay. Okay. And it's because your your activity, it looks like it's possibly that you're trying to burglarize a police vehicle. It clearly says detective parking right here. You obviously know these are detective vehicles, right? Well yeah, it's just taking pictures of those signs too. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's why I was taking pictures. I thought it was cool that they had a, their own little spot. I don't understand. How does that equate to me possibly burglarizing vehicles? I don't get it. Well, yeah. So I don't. I don't know what where, to. Where did you? How did you get say. here? What was that? How did you get here? What? Did you walk here? Do you live here? Why? I'm I don't trying understand. to find. I'm trying to find a good reason as to why you're right here in this parking lot looking into the police vehicles. That's what I'm. I'm, trying to do. I'm walking around taking pictures of of cars, whatever, anything, not just here, everywhere, all over this, all over this little area. It's owned by the city, right? But it's not open to the public. This isn't open to the public? So you're on the police department's parking lot, and you, your words, you're looking at in two cars, looking for anything cool. I, I said I'm taking pictures. Okay. Of which, anything that I see that I think is looking, that I think is cool. Okay. So that's suspicious, because if you see something that's cool in somebody else's car that you don't own, so... We're thinking that you. So, might so steal automatically, it. I'm going to steal it. Automatically, no, 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 somebody's going to steal it. No, not automatically. That's what it seems. 
<laughs> That's kind of dumb, right? Same thing, my sergeant explained to you where if this was someone at your home around your vehicle, if an officer got dispatched out there, due to reasonable suspicion, they would detain that person, identify that person, and understand why are they around a vehicle that does not belong to them. That's something that this state allows us and teaches officers and trains officers to do, right? So you don't know about that? That's awesome. That's why I'm explaining it to you. Hmm. Same thing here. It says detective only. These are vehicles belonging to a detective. It's in a detective spot on a piece of property that's not open to the public. And you're now here on it. Looking into a vehicle, same situation that we're trained on. If you're up on a vehicle, there's reasonable suspicion that a crime may occur, right? I'm not saying that we're, we're trying to figure if out I'm why you're If I'm up here. on a vehicle, there's reasonable, what do you mean up on? If I'm standing on the vehicle, there's you're reasonable next suspicion? To vehicles that do not belong to you. You're dumb for saying, and you are too, for saying that this isn't public accessible because it is. Public non-secured areas have boundaries. They have signs. They have gates. Does this one have it? It says a detective vehicle. Yeah, only detectives could park here. Where does it say people can't enter in here? This is public property. These are public vehicles. Now, let me ask you something. Do you know how the Supreme Court works? Maybe a little bit. Do you know that the Supreme Court ruled that we can come take pictures of your vehicles, the personnel, anything we want in public accessible areas? Do you know that? This still doesn't cancel it does. Sure it does. Because the Supreme cancel. Court told me I can come take pictures. And do you know 148G? Do you know 148G? 148G says that somebody taking pictures, which is all you have, me taking mm -hmm. pictures, is not suspicious. Right. Vehicle, okay. name and badge number. And just so, just so name you know. Name and badge number. Just so you name know. Badge quick, number. I'll give it to you in a second. Name and badge number. I'll give it to you in a second. Just well, so before you know. we continue, I got to get everybody's name and badge number. If What's you your name and badge number? It's right here. Right here. My name's right here too. Every once in a while, if you guys ask me right now, I'm going to say my name's right here as well. Okay. So, what's your name and badge number? Right here. Right here. Another one. You don't know how to identify? Garbage. Trash. Get her off the street. Right, what's my, your name and badge number? You want mine real quick? You oh, asked mine first, first, right? What's your name and badge number? Who are you talking to? You, right there. The one who said, who are you talking to? Who's me? The big who's ugly you? guy who's talking to me. Who? What's your name and badge number? My name's right here. Your name's it's right here as well? Yes. Okay. Well, good luck with my name because it's right here as well. So, Get her some more training. She needs a little bit more. No, nah, you need a little more. I would have been super cool with you if you weren't pulling all that nonsense. Well, then why were you acting like that? All of these cops just for Jay recording and taking pictures of cars parked on a publicly accessible parking lot. They instantly detained him and for the reason as they don't know where he isn't trying to steal the cars. So according to this cop, you have to prove to them that you aren't doing anything now. Guilty until proven innocent. This cop thinks that taking pictures of their car means that Jay is automatically going to steal it. Jay handled this situation well and explained the law well to them and in the end, schooled them. And of course, he had the usual right here cop identifying themselves. You can't be in here filming. Why not? Because this is a federal building. And the federal CFR gives me permission to film in the building entrances, lobbies, foyers, and corridors. This clip is brought to us by Rogue Nation. Make sure you subscribe to their channel and show them support by checking out their videos. And once again, shout out to Rogue Nation. The video starts off with a security officer inside of an outpatient clinic telling the man filming that he can't record inside of the building. The same security officer at the end of the clip then gets educated about how the man can record and surprisingly, he agrees with the man and sticks up for him right at the end. Watch the full clip to see how the guard agreed and stuck up for the man. Oh, no, I'm fine. Thank you. You come in here filming? Yes. So you can? Press. I can. What press? Press. Yeah, well, well, who? I'm independent. Why oh, you can't get in here filming? Why not? Because this is a federal building. And the federal CFR gives me permission to film in the building entrances, lobbies, foyers, and corridors. That's right. See the see the no photos mm -hmm. or videos allowed in patient care areas or private offices. Yeah. Notice it doesn't say in the building. You're in the building. What are you talking about? No photos or videos allowed in. It doesn't say in the whole building. Yeah. It says it patient matter. care areas or private offices. Doesn't matter. You're in the you're in you're in the, the building. Doesn't mean whether they're inside an office or outside an office. Okay.
Uh, I don't answer any questions. Thank you, though. Oh, here you go. It's right here, boss. I don't need it, but I'm not think, pointing it at you. I think, uh, think you put the damn flag down at half mass on Pearl Harbor Day. Mm. You think that's possible? No. Yeah. You think you put the half mass on Pearl Harbor Day? Today's Pearl Harbor Day. Okay. I got it up there in full staff. It should be a half staff. I know, but I'm just letting you know to pass it on. Okay. I said, did my piece. Then no, there's the rules. Oh, you're okay. 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 Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, I, I go to a lot of the VAs and go around. Mm -hmm. I stay where I'm supposed to be. Okay. And I'll, See, I didn't know that, but now in the future I know. Then now you know. And they, they have it right on the wall up there, that top, that mm -hmm. very top one up there. Sure. Let you know. What happened? I'm not okay with you filming. We're in public, sir. I'm sorry. Huh? It's 360. I catch everything, so it doesn't matter. Here's a lot of film. Although the guard at the start was the one that said he originally couldn't record, I'm surprised that he stuck up for the man at the end and agreed with him. It's good to see a guard acknowledging a mistake and rectifying it. The man recording stayed calm the whole time and spoke thoroughly to the guard. And in the end, they got along. No one raised their voices or had an ego, how a situation should be handled, not a copper guard abusing their power on the public civilian. I'm sure this guard learned a lot this day. Thanks for making it to the end of the video, guys. Once again, make sure to like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe for your daily dose of police encounters.